I'm going to show you a few ways that you can check attendance in Google Classroom. Checking the Google Classroom work, using Google Forms, and using questions on Google Classroom. So for the Google Classroom work, I'm going to open up the Classwork tab, then Create. I'm going to create an assignment. I'm going to name it, add instructions, and then I will attach a Google Doc for them to complete. And this is one I just prepared earlier. To make sure all students have a copy of this worksheet, I change it to make a copy for each student. You can add a topic if you want, you can add a due date if you want, but what I'm going to use is the rubric. I like to use a really simple marking rubric that helps me check the students' work and monitor attendance. What I do is I mark out of three. Three means they completed it at a high standard. Two means they completed it at a satisfactory standard. And one means the work needed improvement. Zero means they didn't complete it. Now, because my marking rubric has three points, I changed the points up here to be three as well. Now, this isn't an assessment task. That's not how I would mark an assessment, but it is how I'm marking classwork because it helps keep track of where the students are up to. Then I would assign. Now, when I open up the assignment, this is a fake student here. I can give them three, two, one, or zero really easily just by clicking. I can also do it on this view here by opening up the worksheet, which allows you to cycle through the different students in the class, and you can give them the mark by clicking here and give them a comment here. Now, when I click on it, it gives them the mark up here straight away. Then you return it to give it to the student if you want to. I find that not all students turn in their work, even if they have done it. So make sure you've gone through all the students that appear here, regardless if they've turned it in or not. And if they haven't turned it in, but they've done the work, I like to just give them a reminder down here in the private comments that they should be turning in their work each time. Now, back on the Google Classroom, if I go to grades, all the different assignments you set will appear across here. Now, by doing the simple out of three marking criteria, I'll be able to see really quickly what all the students have been doing. You could also do a marking criteria just out of one, one point meaning they've done the work. It's really good to use the rubric because it turns it just into a really simple click box system. Google Forms to take attendance. Now on Google Drive, I've made a folder just called attendance, but you can make it within your year group, your subject, whatever you want to do. Then you'll click new, more and Google Forms. I like the title to be the date and just say attendance after it. When you click up here, it will automatically add the title in for you. Now I always include two questions on my attendance sheets. I say, click to confirm you attended the lesson. Now this is a multiple choice question that only has one option. So literally they just have to click confirmed. Then dependent on the type of work you're doing, mine are often doing open-ended work that lasts for a few weeks. So I would say, what did you work on this lesson? But you could include any other type of reflection activity. Did you find the work hard? What was your favorite thing about it? I find by including a question as well as just the lesson confirmation, it helps me to see that they've actually understood the work. And I'm gonna change this to be a paragraph. Now to send it, have it automatically collect email address. Then I usually send it by using the link option here and copying that link. So what I would do is I'd copy that. I'd go back to my Google Classroom and I'd post it here and I'd add it as a link. And then you'd post with say attendance with the date. That's one way you can do it. Or alternatively, you can go into classwork, make it an assignment still name it as the attendance, add it as a link. Make sure you have these fields both filled out and then you can add a marking rubric. Then you can just give a simple point for lesson attended or zero for lesson not attended.
Make sure you fill out all the fields there, otherwise it won't let you move on. Save it. Then you would want to change the points here to just be out of one. And you'd save. Then when I open this assignment and click on the students below, I can give them one point for lesson attended or zero for not attended. And once again, that would show up really easily in the grades section on Google Classroom. Now coming back to the Google form, if you open it up on Google Classroom, this is what it looks like for students. Click the pencil down below and this takes you back to the editing view. Responses will appear under responses here. There aren't any at the moment, but there will be an option to view as individuals or just see a whole list of the class. The way I like to view them though, is in a spreadsheet. Now I'm going to create a new spreadsheet and just call it attendance. If I go back to that folder on Google Classroom I made it in, I don't have to remake the form every time. I can just make a copy. Now, if I double click to open it, I could change it to the next lesson date. Then this is really cool. I can have it actually go into the same spreadsheet as the previous form as well. If I click on responses, then this, if I select an existing spreadsheet, then select, I can use that one that I just made. Now, both of those forms that we just created are actually down below here, and I can just name them with the dates to make it really easy. And you can drag them just to put them in whatever order you want. And so basically, then when the students submit it, it will all appear in here, and all the different Google Forms will come straight into this spreadsheet. To make it easy for you on Google Classrooms, so you don't have to create this assignment again every time, you can reuse a post, select this classroom that you're using, select the attendance sheet, then just get rid of this form and add in the new one. It's already got that marking rubric in there for you. You can still add in a due date, a topic, whatever you would like, and you would just click assign. But make sure you change the date there, which I didn't do. So if you made a mistake like that, you could just edit and swap it over quickly. We can also use questions on Google Classroom for attendance. So what I do, so on the classwork tab, click create, then question. And what I do to make it easy is I don't actually put the question up here. I put the date and I write the question in below because if you just write, what did you work on this lesson? Then it'll just get lost on the Google Classroom and they don't know what date to click on. I'm going to add in a point here. Basically one point means they did it. Zero means they didn't do it. I'm going to create a topic, which is just going to be called attendance. And I can make the due date tomorrow by 9am. You can do that on all the other posts we've looked at as well. Now I don't want students to be able to reply to each other. So I'm going to unselect that. Then I ask it. You'll see now on the classwork tab, that that comes up underneath attendance. I think it's a good idea to have all your attendance posts underneath a topic called attendance, which means that that is separate from the actual classwork they need to do. All of those posts also appear on the stream. When you wanna reuse a question, simply click create, reuse post, and then I would select the question, click reuse, and then all I have to do is change the date and it's ready to go. So those are three different ways I've been taking attendance, but you of course need to work with the way that's gonna work best for your class.